<laughs> How are you today? I'm full of joy. <laughs> full of joy for Red Nose Day. Uh, we're really sorry to get you on this morning when I know you got. I've been there many times before myself. It's a long day. You don't start till seven. It's hurry up and wait today, isn't it, David? Oh, I, well, I think there's lots to do today. There'll be lots of uh, last minute rehearsals and madness. But yes, it, there's a lot hanging about. But we're very excited. We're very much looking forward to 7 o'clock tonight. All right, mate. BBC One also on Amazon. It's so super cool. Now, Dave, whenever Carfest gives a car to Comet Relief and you're in charge, we always get the most money for it. Because because you could literally, I don't know, you, you could sell water to the water board. Um, you, <laughs> you just have that. He has such an honest face. He's so he's so trustworthy, David Tennant. So well done. Um, what Thank are your you. plans? Are you making a film? Have you had a drive of the car? What do you think? I've seen the car. Right. It's a thing of great beauty. Yes. It, it really is a sleek piece of kit, isn't it? Oh, my goodness me. Uh, it's, it's... Are you sure you want to give it away? Yeah, no, of course we do. Of course we do. And in the past, I remember, what was the one you gave? A, you did a great job on one of our cars one year. Do you remember which car it was? It was the electric... It was an electric beetle. You did the electric beetle, but you did another one as well, and you made this amazing film for it. It was so good news. And so then it was the Queen's one, but I wasn't allowed near the Queen's <laughs> one. That was done on a little pre-record. I don't know why. All right. So what else is happening? Because I know there are other giveaways. Um, can you tell us what can you tell us uh, about any potential surprises? How can you whet our appetite to watch the show tonight? Well, it's you know it's it's always a night of. Uh, 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 full of stuff, full of stuff, isn't it? Yes. So it there's is. a there's a there's some brilliant sketches. It's also Lenny Henry's final show. Of course, Lenny has been involved in Comic Relief for 39 years. Yes. And uh, and he thought, I don't want to make it to 40. I'm going to give up this year. <laughs> so uh, it, it's his it's his final one. So there'll be a bit of stuff about that. Looking back at some of the amazing things that he's been involved in. Yeah. He also does a bit of a Ryan Gosling, and uh, there's a uh, I'm just Len. Will is one of the highlights of the evening. Very good. What time is that going to be on? Oh, I don't ask me things like that. I have no <laughs> idea. It, yeah, you obviously want to watch the whole show from seven through to ten, won't you? Yeah, of course you do. All right. Uh, so we got Slendy Henry, got Joel Dummett, got Davina McCall, Paddy McGuinness, Ramshaw and Nathan, Maya Jama. Yeah. Uh, you got Rosie yeah. Ramsey. Also, yeah. you got uh, surprise um, guest star um, performances, appearances from Claudia Winkle, Picard, Jonathan Bailey, David Williams, Catherine Tate, and more. Cool, yeah. man. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. McFly um, are doing a, 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 a brilliant sort of medley of comic relief songs as well. That's quite exciting. Yeah, because they famously had a number one with It's All yeah. About You, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Oh, excellent jumper, by the way, this morning, David. Well, thank you. A jumper for the review, obviously. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, it has a comic relief theme to it of sorts. The jumper? Yeah. Well, it's got a bit of red in it. Exactly. That's what you mean. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Take, we'll take a bit of yeah. red. We'll take a bit of yeah. red. Uh, it's right. got optimism and joy. So so what are you... I mean, you're obviously you're hosting. Are you also acting? Are you sketching? Are you prank, pranking? What are you doing today? Well, there is a W1A sketch. Ah. Um, so I have a little bit of involvement in W1A as the as the uh, the voice of God in that. Right. Uh, but other than that, I, I, you know, I'm just I'm just here on the night, really, and uh, being part of... Yeah, there's eight presenters, so it's chaos, you it's, can imagine. Yeah, but that's what you want, though, isn't it? You want all yeah. the chaos. Nobody cares. And the more things that go wrong, the better. A, it's live. B, it's more fun. C, people are, yeah. are going are to stay tuned, stay engaged. As an yeah. actor, and, you know, I've known lots of actors. I know lots of actors. I was married to the brilliant Billy... I have been on sets and I know it is all about hurry up and waiting for actors. So so as a presenter, all right, so I'd be chomping in the bit all day and yeah. come seven o'clock tonight, I, you know, I'd have shot all the beans um, before we get to go on. But you're really good at this stuff, aren't you? You're really good at pacing yourself. So the thing with a big event like Comic Relief that, that you, you don't have when you're on set filming something because it's live. Yes. There's lots of other stuff happening in the day, especially because, you know, there's social media things and an interview for this and a bit of that and yeah. talking to this person about blah, blah, blah. So it does sort of rumble on all day. There's, it's a kind of, it's a bit more like being at a festival. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's sort of always someone with a, with a camera or a microphone. Or a, yeah. so, so it's kind of once, we, once the day begins and it has begun, it'll just sort of bubble along till, yeah. uh, till we're live on the telly, I think. Quite oh, exciting. It is really exciting. What, what, which, which is the production that you've worked on, right, David, where you spent most time um, hurry up and waiting? Probably Harry Potter. Because <laughs> All right, that would make sense, something- yeah. But it's something of that scale. Yeah. You would rehearse a bit in the morning, then you'd wait till 
you shoot something maybe five o'clock in the afternoon. It's something that the more money a production has, yeah. I think, the longer it takes to get them done. Wow, see, that is so exciting. The world of film. Uh, Vassos has a request on behalf of the whole planet. Wow. I do have a request on behalf of the whole planet. He would like you to bring something back. Bring it back. Yes. Bring it back. I think, David, I think... Bring it back on the BBC. Staged was one of my favourite things that I've ever seen ever anywhere, David. Please, can we have more of it? Uh, Well, it's not entirely up to me. I mean, it did sort of... We sort of finished it with... The trouble is it was so born out of lockdown. I mean, it was was something that existed because we suddenly found ourselves, you know, on Zoom screens and thought, how do you... What do you do with this? So it was so of its time and of its moment. I don't know, we'd have to have an, another, a new idea as to where to take yeah. it in a world where we don't exist yeah. locked in our houses. Okay. Uh, for people I mean, who don't, you know, for people never who don't, seen it. For people who don't know, it was you and Michael, was it Michael McIntyre or Barry Sheen you did it with? <laughs> oh no, Michael Sheen! You did it with Michael Sheen! Martin Sheen, we, we like to call him Martin Sheen, he loves that. <laughs> All right, pal. Um, so how will you be displaying the amazing car tonight? This is an actual, you can win an actual Bond yeah. car for a one-off gift of a tenner tonight on the telly. And yeah. it's it's an original, official, um, die another day press car. It's gorgeous. It was specced up by the CEO of Aston Martin back in the day. Its chassis number ends with 007. It's got the guns wow, on the I bonnet. It's got the, ro- yeah, it's got the rocket launches in the grill. It's got it all going on. How, <laughs> how are you going to display it? How, what airtime will you give it? Where is your Comet Relief car lot this year? It's it's parked up outside the front of BBC Salford. Oh, nice. That's where it will be. It will be on in the piazza. Brilliant. I won't be allowed to drive it because I'm not insured. Uh, but uh, I think, you know, maybe we'll uh, we'll enjoy a martini outside it. Uh, not alcoholic, of course. We wouldn't, on the BBC, be wanting to drive cars under the influence no, of No, of course not. Of course not. Um, and so you're on for the three hours. Does it go, does Comet Relief go on after 10 this year? What, what, how it do does. You, T- tell us about that. It does. Rosie Ramsey and Paddy McGuinness have got a show. And this is where I'm slightly struggling with my details. They go on after the afterwards, though, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And then there's a, there's also a show later about about Lenny and Lenny's contribution. I mean, there'll be a bit of that in our show, but about Lenny's whole contribution to this sort of the the the. the, the the 39 years of it. All right, mate. And um, I know you've got to go by nine o'clock because you are doing all the interviews because everybody wants as much tenant as they can get. Uh, I'm you've, get been, I'm here to get. you've been awesome for us. Comet Relief, one and a half billion quid, uh, the better off for, and only because of the people who watch uh, the shows and listen to the radio shows, ComRelief.com, seven o'clock tonight. David, please give our love to everybody there. I really, really wish you all the best. I hope you have a great day. Give my love to Seleni. Um, he's awesome. You're you're awesome. Um, well done. The best of. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for the car. We'll try and get as much money as possible. All right, mate. David Tennant, live from Salford. There you go. No problem at all.